How are you? Are you okay? It's your teacher Nonzeta. Welcome to Easy Elimo Learning Simplified. Wow. We are now here again counting in fives. We have done counting in ones, counting in twos, and now we are counting in fives. Someone to tell me the rules we said when you're counting in fives. Don't say, teacher, I can't. No, 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 no. We talked about the rules. We said when you're counting in five, most of the time, the numbers will always end with a zero and a five. These are the rules for counting in fives. Give me an example of your own number between 100 to 1,000. Yes, Janet. Teacher, I have 505. Very good. 510. Continue. 515. Very good. Let's find the missing numbers. So who will answer your question? Janet, pick someone to answer your question. Oscar. Oscar, stand up. Very good. Follow the rules. Which number is constant in all the numbers? Teacher, it is 5. So 5 is the common number in all the numbers. So I put there 5. Very good. So which numbers are we working with? We are working with 0, 5, 10, 15. So we need to get the missing numbers. I can decide. Yes, Oscar, what can you decide? I can decide to add plus 5 to get 10. Plus 5 to get 15. Plus 5 to get 20. And now my missing number will be 20. Alternatively, I can count using my fingers. We said each finger represents 5. So we say 5, 10, 15, 20. And you'll find your missing number as 20. Very good. Can you clap for Oscar? Try again another day. A very good boy. Now, what if the question? No, not what if. Johnny, give us a question. Johnny says the question is 340. 345, 350, now find the missing number. Very good. Johnny, give us your constant number. Which method are you willing to use? Which one do you want to use? I want to use the constant number. Which one is the constant number? The constant number is 3. So I write there 3. Then you come to the remaining numbers in the tens and ones place value. So we go 40, 45, 50, and my missing number is 50. As simple, 55, as simple as that. Alternatively, you can decide to add 5 to get 45. You add 5 to get 50. You add 5 to get 55. And that is how you do it. Counting in fives forward. What about backward? Backward, the same rule still remains. So in backward, are we going to add again? No. What are we sup sup supposed to do in backwards? We are subtracting in the backward direction. Let's see. I have 7, 40, 7, 35, 7, 30, 7, 25. So which one is the missing number? Yes. Someone to try this, Janet. What are we supposed to do? Teacher, you look at the constant number. The constant number in all these numbers is 7. That is the number that is same. But when you come to 40, 40 is different. 35 is different. 30 is different. 25 is different. So what are we supposed to do? We either reduce this by 5. So when you reduce 40 by 5, you get 35. 35 take away 5, you get 30. And 30 take away 5, you get 25. What about 25 take away 5, you get 20. So you come and find out that your missing number is 20. Any problem up to there? Any question up to there? Now, I have some two questions here that you're going to do it at home. Of course, with the help of your guardians, I want people to... Calculate this, 205, 200, 195, then fill the missing number. The second one goes like this, 
630, 635, 640, and you fill in the missing number. Remember the rules. Counting forward, we add. Counting backward, we reduce. Any question up to there? Any problem? So the rules are very intact, okay? So when we meet tomorrow, I want to see this work so that we see if we can be able to do the forward and backward in tense. It was nice having you around and I hope to see you in the next lesson. Thank you.